Biophysics is the interface between chemistry, physics, biology. It's, it's thinking about how life works from a, from a fundamental physical perspective. It's trying to understand why things happen. At Notre Dame, the mission is both research and teaching excellence. So we have a new graduate program in biophysics. We recently received a generous donation from the William and Linda Stravopoulos Family Foundation, and this has enabled the creation of the Stravopoulos Center for Interdisciplinary Biophysics. Just as much as biophysics is a melding of disciplines or an application of physical understanding to biology, we're doing the same thing with graduate programs. We are trying to recruit students who uh, have an interest or background in biology, but also want to start thinking about physics. The thing that's interesting about biophysics now is in the past, one could say biophysics has been focused on gathering observations and facts, but what are you gonna do with that? What does that data mean? How can we put it together and get insight? Now that's, people realize we're at that point now, and I think it's the perspective from physical science, particularly, that allows you to infer or abduct ideas, broad ideas, from lots of data. That's how biophysics is gonna move forward. At Notre Dame, we have a lot of faculty in, in various departments that are working in biophysics, uh, touching various aspects of it. And what this new Stavropoulos Center will allow us to do is put them under one umbrella. A surprisingly wide variety of human diseases are caused by fundamentally by protein misfolding. My lab is very interested in how proteins fold in cells. So protein folding has been studied for more than 70 years. That experiment is done in a test tube so away from the environment of the cell. So we've learned how proteins fold in test tubes, but most proteins, when you take them away from the cell, they don't fold correctly. So one of the projects that my lab is really excited about right now is trying to understand what it is about the cellular environment that enables proteins to fold correctly there. We're also trying to think about ways of increasing the complexity in the test tube to mimic more accurately what's going on in the, in the cell. So in my lab, we look at the, uh, the interface between structural biology, biophysics, and the immune system. We try to understand how your immune system recognizes you, what goes wrong when your immune system is out of control, and really what we use is, is the application of physical and chemical principles to understand that. And then we're using, building on that understanding to uh, engineer new therapies for cancer, for viral infections, for autoimmunity. My personal area of research is computational biophysics, and so I run a research program that, that helps to train a future generation of, of researchers. We're trying to solve important problems using computational approaches. So in other words, rather than trying to study something in a laboratory, instead we're trying to model that on a computer, and it gives us a different level of detail that you might not otherwise have. One interesting project that we're working on is trying to understand how proteins and, and, and peptides interact with one another, and specifically in the immune system. And so we're hoping that one of the, the future applications of this research is being able to develop tailored, individual, immuno-based therapies for, for fighting cancer. My lab is interested in understanding RNA triple helices, um, and specifically we're uh, interested in their structure, their 3D structure. And more recently, we discovered that there's a protein that can bind to this unique triple helical structure. Nobody has discovered a triple-stranded RNA binding protein, so we'd like to be the first group to understand the structure of this protein in complex with the triple helix. We know from physics and engineering that all things are in motion, all molecules are in motion. A unifying theme is uh, the topic of drug resistance. What we try to do is do experiments to understand first what kinds of motions do protein molecules do to recognize other proteins, to bind drugs, what kinds of motions do they use as they evolve their functions. I want to understand how is that happening so I can do something about it. That's how this research could affect me, you, and everyone. I'm really excited about the future of biophysics at Notre Dame. I think we're making tremendous investments that's going to allow us to bring in new faculty who work in different areas. We're going to be able to expand our expertise, and this is going to have a tremendous impact on the training that we can give to the next generation of, of biophysical researchers. Beginning graduate students have access to state-of-the-art research equipment uh, appropriate for biophysical research. In addition to the excellent facilities, as a graduate student, another important aspect 
to consider is access to faculty and the fact that we have this biophysics center that straddles multiple departments. The Stavropoulos Center for the Interdisciplinary Study of Biophysics will allow us to recruit new faculty, new students, and really allow us to become a major player in biophysics. Biophysics is on the move at Notre Dame. Join us. Join us. Join us. We've been growing. We have new facilities and imaging and x-ray and NMR and all the pieces you would need to make significant progress. Join us.